Hello class, this video is for your final exam for the fall 2020 semester. This video uh, basically covers some basic exam preparations. There's a separate video that covers the content of the readings. Please make sure you watch both videos, read both PowerPoints before taking the final exam. So basically, the final exam for the first stage of English is an online exam that you must complete by December 20th. The exam question will become available to you on December 14th. You must upload this paper like all of our other assignments. You will write an essay exam answer that contains an introduction, body, and conclusion. You will use in-text citation when discussing the evidence. Remember, even if you are summarizing uh, the ideas of the readings in your own words, you must cite it. You can use the page numbers as you find in the handout. On December 14th, you will be given a question. You will write an answer that will uh, directly respond to and address the prompt. That prompt will be available to you on Blackboard on December 14th. So, some general tips to help you prepare for the final exam. One, make sure you take time to create a study plan that will help you break down the information you have learned this semester and during the preparation for the exam. Divide big items into smaller tasks. Reread the essays. Make sure you can annotate the essays, looking in particular for main ideas and supporting information. Uh, then finally, look over those main ideas and supporting details and try and figure out how the details, the specific facts presented to you in the essays, support the ideas presented by the authors. Just in general as well, uh, the week of the exam and for finals week in general, make sure that you are trying your best to eat healthy. Make sure you're drinking lots of water. Don't completely overdo it with caffeine because that can lead to crashes. And please make sure you have uh, watched and understood the material that you can use to complete the final exam. The PowerPoints, the videos, and both of the essays that you can find in our weekly folders. So when you take an essay exam, it is important to understand what the teacher is asking for in an essay questions. Too many students make the error of thinking the best way to answer an essay is to write down everything and anything about the topic as fast as they can. One of the biggest mistakes students make is they take no time to think about the essay question or to organize their answer. So before you take this essay exam, remember, uh, you will have from the 14th to the 20th to complete it. This is not a timed exam. So it's not one of those exams where once you start, you have to finish within a couple of hours. You have the 14th through the 20th, the entire time to complete the, the essay exam. So make sure you take the time to read the question several times so that you clearly understand what you're being asked to write about. Make sure that your thesis statement answers that question. Follow the outline provided to you in these PowerPoints to, to make sure your thesis statement is supported. Take time to write your essay and read over it. So, to answer the essay exam, one of the two things that I will strongly evaluate is are you able to, for both the essays, find the main ideas and supporting details used by both of our authors? As we've talked about all semester, a main idea is an author's claim or opinion about an idea, a concept, or a problem. It is where they're telling you what they think should happen. And then a supporting detail is the use of expert testimony, quotes, statistics, examples, or history to defend, clarify, or prove the idea they stated in their essay. Supporting details will always be specific bits of information that are used to prove and explain the main idea. As you write your essay exam, make sure that you're able to, in, for both essays, 
find ideas, supporting details, and be able to explain how those supporting details connect to the main ideas. So let's look at the structure of your essay. So as you write uh, your uh, essay exam, responding to the question, make sure you have an introduction, body, and conclusion. The first part of your essay will be your introduction. This is what I want you to do in the introduction in your final exam. First, summarize in two sentences, uh, essay number one, use the author's name, summarize only the key ideas. Number two, summarize the author's name and key idea of the second essay. Finally, in the last sentence of your introduction, I want you to create a thesis statement that uses the essays to answer the question. This thesis statement should be completely original to you that addresses the problem presented by both essays. Make sure your thesis statement answers the question you're being asked on the final exam. In your introduction, never rephrase the question. Don't try and put the question that you read in your own words. Simply go ahead and have a thesis statement that answers the question. So, after you've written your introduction, next I want you to provide two body paragraphs, one for each essay that you have read. All right? In these body paragraphs, I want you to analyze one idea from the essay about poverty. Your topic sentence should explain to me that idea from poverty and how it is connected to your thesis statement in the introduction. Then you will provide evidence. You will quote evidence specifically from the essay and then do our two-step process. What is important about the quote you gave me? How does it relate and prove your thesis statement? You will then repeat this structure for the second essay. So, in the body paragraphs, you are doing the same task twice, but you're doing it once with each essay. In order to successfully complete the assignment, you only need two well thought out and written body paragraphs using evidence from both essays. One piece of evidence in one body paragraph, one piece of evidence in the other. As you write that, please follow this step for both your body paragraphs where you address and use evidence to prove your thesis statement. Finally, you will have your conclusion. Your conclusion should be at least five sentences, and your conclusion should answer the following questions. First, in your conclusion, tell me which essay did you feel was the most persuasive? Next, tell me why you believe this essay is the most persuasive. And then finally, can you connect anything from the essays to something we have read this semester? anything at all, how does anything that these two essays remind you of issues brought up in any of our other readings? Uh, I would strongly suggest that you take a look at what we've done for the research paper. So in your conclusion of at least five sentences, which of the two essays was the most persuasive? Why do you believe this? And can you connect one of these essays to something that we have read this semester? So to conclude, here should be the structure of your essay to answer the question for the final exam. In the introduction, you should have a summary of essay one, summary of essay two, and your thesis statement. In the body uh, paragraph one, you should have uh, analysis of evidence from essay number one, body paragraph two, analysis of evidence from essay two, and then finally, your conclusion. To successfully pass uh, the final exam, you only need to write four really quality paragraphs. I'm not looking for a ton of writing, but I am looking for you to answer and use the essay uh, effectively and successfully. So here's the structure of your essay. In the next video, we talk a bit about the content of both of the readings for the final exam. Please watch that video for, uh, to extend our conversation about the final exam for fall 2020.